what is up guys welcome to another video so today we're going to be talking about gerber knives now i am going to be doing a part series with all separate knives going through which are my favorite least favorite so on and so forth so don't worry i won't leave you guys hanging on any of these i still do have fixed blades and i have the gerber strong arm in my room as well somewhere <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be starting with the flat iron today and then we'll probably go on to a few other knives. If you want a knife review of one of the Gerbers a little bit quicker, just comment below and I'll make sure I drop the video next time. So let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about the Gerber flat iron. This is the 7CR blade with the Desert Tan G10 and um, the blade is 3.6 inches with a 8.5 inches overall length. Um, my opinions on this knife as in just overall at the moment is I really enjoy it, which there are a few things that really, really bug me and annoy me about it, but I guess every knife has those because it's a knife. There are gonna be good and bad to it, so let's get into those issues and discuss them and hopefully you guys understand you don't have to agree but i hope you guys do understand with what i'm trying to say starting with the blade it is a 7cr steel which i'm not crazy about because 7cr is very like cheap steel but for what you're paying for this version it's um it's it's okay like it does the job easy to sharpen keeps a good edge for you know cutting boxes and then i come home if i do decide to use it and i yeah um give it a good uh, good sharpen it has a stone wash finish to it which i like the d2 version that they made they didn't do a stone wash they kept it just as a like a satin which i wish they did this stone wash because i really enjoy like the look of it but I do find I can't get a good photo of this because it always looks blurry. It always just comes out blurry. I can focus it 400 different ways. It'll still come out blurry, which is annoying, but I guess it's a payoff for it looking good because that is a really, really nice finish on it. If I can just get that right angle. Sorry, you can see the flash of my GoPro. I'll turn the LED off. <laughs> I always keep forgetting. Um, so it has a thumb hole and then it has the um, Gerber uh, logo right there. On the other side, they just have the serial number on it and that's it. So it's a pretty clean blade. You can't really notice the um, emblem, which is good because it makes it look nice and clean and um, very um, sterile, I think they call it. Um, this is a very thick, chunky piece of steel. The thickness of the blade is about half my pinky, if that's a measurement. <laughs> it's it's not a overly thick blade like with some of the cold steel knives, which I do approve of them very much. Um, but it is a very thick piece of steel, which is I love thick pieces of steel because they're really easy to. Um, used to cut big objects like through boxes and um, through stacks of paper and anything that I might need to do on a daily or yeah, or show it off to people, look how thick the piece of steel is. <laughs> um, it has going over to the handle now on the stainless steel side, the pocket clip. Um, my opinion on this pocket clip is it's very thick and um, very rigid. When you push it into your pockets, it can uh, rip a little bit because of how like uh, stiff it is. But as long as you hold your pocket with the other hand, you can kind of push it in there. I, I use this as a drop-in pocket knife. So I may be taking the um, pocket clip off, but I find it adds, you know, it just fills up the hand a little bit better, which I do like because it is quite a thin knife compared to some of other Gerber products. So I do I do like it on there, but I won't be using the pocket clip as a pocket clip. Um, it ha this is the version with just the disc. They do have a thumb plate now. Um, more like a finger plate. It's, I'm pretty sure they patterned it as their own so they can use it when you're trying to close it. You don't 
push against the frame lock, but I have found a way to do that without getting in the way of the frame and opening it as well. People tend to push on there when they open it, but as you can see, I don't, I need to oil this knife for some reason, it's just dried up. Um, so yeah, on this side, that's all there is. It's uh, a stainless steel stone wash, as same as the blade. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, this is made out of 7CR as well, I'm guessing. Or I, I don't know what they use for this. It might have just been a stainless, or I'm not 100%, but yeah, they did stone wash it as well to kind of go with the blade, which I did like. They Instead of just leaving this as a side that nobody looks at, they did make it look like a bit of eye candy. Um, the frame lock, the frame lock is um, it's an alright frame lock. I have to admit, once you break it in, it does work properly. It's got a bit of jimping on the inside, so you can get in there and get some grip when you go to close it. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy with that. You know, they cut out a little bit of a section so you can bend it. Um, going over to the G10, this is a side I really enjoy because it's a really nicely done G10, which they have moved on to Micarta now. They did a D2 Micarta version, which I will be getting, not sure when, but when I get it in the mail, I will do a video on it. And yeah, they have a hex pivot. And as you can maybe see, I'm not sure if it's focusing or not, it is completely stripped out because the they decided to use cheap materials when, you know, like making it which annoys the hell out of me because then I can't pull the knife apart and clean it and yeah I've got to kind of clean it from how it is which is very difficult I hope they fix that on the newer D2 uh, micarta version because that is something that really really bugs me that's one of the big problems I find with this knife um, which another problem is the disc but they did fix that on a new one so I can't whinge and the thumb hole they put the thumb hole up higher which I did, I did like, but I got this way before then, so that's a bit of a disappointment. Um, this G10 is very well textured. It has like a nice texture to it. It doesn't rip up my pocket because it's on this side, of course, and um, it's very, very grippy. And as you can see, that's how it fits my hand. If I can get that in frame, fits my hand like that. Got a little bit of overhang which is always nice. I wish they had a bit of jimping across there so I could like, or even across the spine of the blade because it is kind of slippery. If I do choke up in the choil, I can really get in there and I can do some detailed work. Um, I do like using that if I'm cutting rope or cutting through any boxes, which is always helpful and it does add to that um, strength and it doesn't make it slippery anymore, which is nice. So that is the Gerber flat iron. Um, I will be getting the new one, so I'll make sure I keep you guys posted on that. Um, link down in the description on where you can get this from. Uh, link to the Gerber website. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next week.